Hey. Hey, you. Come here for a second. Finally. <clears throat> Someone alive. We got ambushed. A couple of our team members were taken by these, these creatures. A couple of guys went ahead to track them down. The rest of us got hammered hard. My legs are broken, and I already lost too much blood. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Here, take my gun. You'll be needing some tough firepower for what's up ahead. Don't bother using the combat assault rifle, it's, it's useless. Use the class 2 combat assault rifle. This baby will take him down with these. Before you go, take my logbook. Bring it back to base if you make it out of here. Good luck, Marine. I seem to have lost my notes. I'm going to have to log my studies in this audio recording. I wrote down in my previous note that there was a female companion to Nikutani. I was able to get some spelling of the name. So far, I was able to translate the first half. It's spelled D-R-A. I'm working on deciphering the rest, but right now I could use Dr. Donahue's expertise. He's a lot better with these translations. Anyway, on the wall next to this door, I was able to translate what it says. It talks about two guardians that protect the temple for Nikutani's companion. These two guardians were described as two-headed beasts. They were created just for guarding the temple. It also says that only worthy mortals can pass and overcome the guardians. Oh. <laughs> 